Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Uh, hope everybody has a good holiday tomorrow. Uh, the Friars will be practicing tomorrow at 1030, lathered up, try to get better. Um, thought we were a little lackluster today. Obviously, very happy with the win, right? Coming off of losing two tough games on the road, quote unquote, home, road, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just uh, we didn't have a lot of energy out there today, which I was disappointed with. Some some turnovers. Uh, wasn't It wasn't what I thought. I'm, I'm really happy with the win. We just got a long way to go to be the team that won to become. I thought we got some good performances from Ed Croswell. I thought Devin Carter, obviously his defensive intangibles can change any game regardless of level. Um, you know, I thought Hopkins was decent. But overall, just a, you know, just a subpar effort, but a really good win. If I can answer that, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to try to answer that tomorrow with improvement, getting better, energy, enthusiasm, spirit, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't, you know, and again, trying to, trying to change with this landscape of just having so many new people, do they understand the culture of our organization with energy and gratitude and appreciation for the moment? Um, we just, we just got out, you know, we got to continue to get better and work at it. I don't know what's missing. But uh, your question leads to there is something missing. So I appreciate you asking that question, Frank. I don't know. It, it could take some while, Kevin. It could. It could take some while. It could take a, you know, uh, it could take a rotational thing. Again, when you're tinkering here, I thought we'd be at a better place as far as continuity and chemistry. But if we're being real and open and honest, you know, we, we still got some work to do. And it's, it's a reason why we, we scheduled the way we scheduled. You know, we've been doing it too long to just think it's just going to poof happen overnight. But let's be positive with it. Let's understand that change is hard for everybody with the expectations on our organization, which we should have high expectation. You know, now we got to try to live up to that, and that's going to take some time. Well, you know, coming out of Connecticut, obviously, that was very discouraging. So I don't know if we had a hangover from that. That could be. Uh, I know we had a decent practice yesterday. It was it, You couldn't practice too hard on Sunday. What's today? Today's Wednesday. Yeah, we couldn't. You know, that was damn near off day. And then, you, you know, you was able to get after it a little bit on Monday. And then Tuesday, you can't beat their bodies up too much because you got to play the next day. So um, we'll, we'll improve. We'll get better. The turnover. True, and and most of the time you do get carryover, and I think and again another great question. It's uh, I don't know. Uh, again, you just there's so many new pieces, new new game attitudes, new it attitudes, like, you know, and I'm not saying they're bad attitudes. We just got to try to bring them all together. I'm perplexed by some of it, uh, yet we got to work through it to become the best Providence team we can become. You don't feel like that and had to throw the attempt to the room to get feedback after you practice? Like, you know, a little bit, a little bit. You know, as, as you know, uh, some people thrive with leadership. Some people are paralyzed by leadership. <clears throat> And again, in today's culture of kids, understand this. Nobody wants to be the bad guy. Everybody's a good guy. It's okay having nine turnovers. It's okay that he just scored 30 on you. Don't worry about it. Leadership is about leading the right way, even when you have to be the bad guy. That's why leadership is lonely, right? Leadership is lonely, right? But it's really, really good when you're on top. And when you're the leader and you're on top, the view is beautiful. I say that all the time. It's okay being a bad guy. Edwin, what do you see Derek doing now? I mean, with his kind of, maybe like you, he's kind of part of the Providence team as that kind of thing. Well, he's in a different role. He's the top of everybody's scout and report, so he's drawing the, probably people's best, you know, uh, best defenders. He's got to adjust to that. He's got to adjust to balancing do I go, do I stay, you know, how do I get my players involved early? Jared had the luxury of coming off the bench, A, playing against a tired starter playing against a, a backup. So, you know, there's a lot to that. And he had other pieces around him that knew him. These players don't know Jared in the game yet. As much as this competition and practice, 
games are just a different different deal. Games are just, you know, the energy, the crowds, the expectation. Some kids get nervous. So, you know, there's there's a lot of question marks, a lot of question marks, and we got to answer them pretty quick. we got a quick turnaround. Uh, you know, we're going to try to enjoy tomorrow. I'm looking forward to spending some time with my family after practice. Hopefully all of you do that. Um, and just continue to get better. Don't know again, as, as you can see that again, another coach's decision, you know, it's, it's just very difficult to play a 10 person rotation. So the biggest thing we're dealing with here is rotation. How do we get to that rotation? And most of the time early in the season, we try to give everybody an opportunity before we get to the meat and potatoes of our schedule. Everybody have an opportunity, put stuff on tape, and then little by little, you know, you'll wiggle that down to the number you need to be successful. Uh, I see you have, you know, and obviously the coach up front, you have your report that the guys who are going to be there. So maybe the bottom three or four guys can communicate with them and say, hey, look, we've got to unwind here before the fight is over. I'm extremely transparent. I'm very transparent, very open and honest with our guys, right? You got to keep yourself in the game by doing things that make us want to put you back in there. And again, I'm not always correct, right? You know, maybe we should have played with somebody else or somebody else different or whatever. We won the game. We'll move forward. Let's try to get better because, you know, it's going to be a moving target every single every single game with this group until we figure out who we are. We don't know who we are yet. We don't. Continue to find out who can do what and where. And, and for me, it starts with the defensive mindset. It starts with the chemistry of that defensive unit. I think we have some guys who can score. And, you know, let's not forget, I thought Merrimack did a really good job today. I thought their zone disrupted us. You know, I think we had 14 or 15 or whatever, so many turnovers. You know, it's not like we're out there playing against ourselves and it was five on zero that, you know, they don't have the record that they want, but they're going to be a formidable opponent when they get to their level. Our size and length and strength, you know, was uh, was a big factor in today's win. Happy, happy holidays, people. Thank you.